In this video, I'm going to share with you a defensive coverage that I think you're going to want to absolutely take a look at, even if this is something of some of the adjustments you're going to do uh, mid-play to help your zone coverage out. I just wanted to kind of highlight this coverage to you because I think it's probably one of the best stock defenses in the game. There's some ad uh, adjustments you can also do to make this a little bit more effective. Uh, but today we're going to talk about the San Francisco 49ers playbook in the nickel normal. If you're new, I want to ask that you would go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It's free to subscribe and it's a great way to support the channel. I also want to let you know that we're talking about the nickel normal formation and I have a full defensive ebook on that linked in my Patreon. So if you've not joined the Patreon yet, it's only $10 a month and it allows you to get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks. I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides in there right now. We also update the Patreon pretty much every week with new content. So if you're looking to get better, I would really encourage you to join that. It's only $10 and you get access to literally everything. All right, guys, so let's take a look at um, just, it, honestly, we can kind of pick any offense, uh, but to illustrate this, I'm just gonna do uh, some gun bunch uh, here. And just want to kind of walk you through uh, what makes this so good. So uh, the defense we're going to be taking a look at is the nickel normal. And we want to go ahead and put our best corners in the game, whoever that might be. So like Jonathan Jones, I'm going to put some safeties here at the linebacker position. And then obviously the, the Pats have pretty good corners and safeties. And the defense that we're going to want to go ahead and take a look at is cover one hole press. Now, to illustrate this, I'm going to show cover one robber, and I'm also going to show cover one linebacker blitz, which I've talked about both in previous um, in previous videos. So cover one hole press, and this is why this defense is so effective. If we take a look at one of the biggest drawbacks to man coverage, one of the biggest challenges to man coverage is the fact that they sometimes the players have a tendency to run into each other in the, in the defense, which to me is a major, major problem. Well, if you take a look at the cover one robber, um, and you take a look at this real quick, you're going to notice that this three wreck hook defender is going to be on uh, the left side. He's going to be coming down in the play. Well, the problem with that is, let's say that I run, um, let's say that I run a, a post, a slant, and then we'll do a little out route, flat route, um, just something simple like this. Okay. This simple route combination, you're going to notice that that three reg hook doesn't have the best opportunity to cover this post because he's coming down into the play. He's also got a much more likelihood of running into people. And you'll even see players that run this coverage, this cover one robber um, out of nickel 335 wide. Some of the best players in the world run this coverage. What they like to do is actually like to bring this guy over the middle. And the reason they want to do that is because what's going to happen is it's going to make him cover things like these crossing routes a little bit better than if he's backed off. As you can see right there, the main coverage is right there. So what I would like to recommend to you in this video is actually the cover one hole. And the reason why is because the linebacker is already in perfect position for you to be able to utilize him. So all we're going to do here is pinch our defense. And now this linebacker is in perfect position to cover different routes on the field. And then all I'm going to do is blitz my user and kind of come down in here. And I know what my responsibility is, right? My responsibility basically uh, with this is I'm going to use her the deep stuff, right? Any kind of deep post, deep crosser, I'm looking to kind of cover that. And then we're just going to put a uh, QB contain out there so we can try to help with these mobile quarterbacks. And then I like to QB spy this guy right here, Barmore. You don't have to do that, but I like to. Um, it doesn't necessarily help the coverage. If you want to have something that helps the coverage, go ahead and put like a little curl flat zone from the defensive end. I think that helps the coverage a lot. But uh, but anyway, let's just do it like this. So this is pretty much my setup. Um, and then I don't really do anything else. Like uh, one thing I would might recommend is with the slot corner and the gun bunch, you can actually individually adjust and shade him to the inside and then get a little bit of a manual uh, press. So you see kind of just some manually shading here. But you'll notice that this three rack really does a good job of defending. See how he carries that and then passes that to me. And this concept that is really, really effective at a gun bunch um, is not quite as effective against this cover one hole. Now, I'm going to give you kind of another concept that you're going to see if they run a lot of gun bunch. And that is basically this little uh, concept right here. Okay, so this is a little, little flood concept to the right. 
And again, we're going to basically do the same exact adjustments. And I want you to notice how good the cover one hole plays. You're going to see here on the left side, this out route that almost always beats man doesn't really kill it, right? It does win, but it doesn't kill it. And you can contain that, and you can kind of hang with that a little bit. Now, again, if they're just going to abuse that over and over again, then you can actually really easily say, well, let's do this adjustment, right? Let's go ahead and take this linebacker and, you know, let's put him into a hard flat. And then let's take this defensive tackle or defensive end and actually man him up on the back. So you see it looks like this right here, a little bit of a more deceptive coverage, but I think a little bit better equipped to defend something like this little out route right here. Now you see we've got kind of bracketed coverage on it. Very difficult to throw something like that, okay? Um, and then if they go across the formation, you can kind of do the same thing. So this coverage I really like for this reason because this three rec hook defender is going to do a lot of damage uh, to different types of concepts that people like to run, such as, uh, you know, simple slants, posts. He carries stuff a lot better um, than you might think. Let's go to another concept real quick here. Uh, something else that you'll probably see a lot from uh, Gun Bunch is the flipped crosser. So they're going to put that gun across and then they're going to flip their play. The beauty of this is we don't really have to flip our play with this. Uh, we can pretty much just leave it, you know, as is. So we're going to do this right here. And again, we don't really have to flip our play. We can, but we don't have to. Um, and as you see, we're still going to be fine. Uh, we might want to flip the guy that's on the spy. But by and large, this is still a decent way to play. At the snap of the ball, you're going to see this crosser to circle. And you see their great pressure. Uh, but you see that, that crosser to circle. You've got fairly decent coverage on them. Fairly decent coverage. And obviously, you're going to be able to use that across the formation. Now, let's go back to that original concept. If you are running man coverage, I would very much so guarantee you that you're going to get uh, something like this little motion slant here out of the gun bunch. So you get this motion slant. Notice we get this nice little kind of crossing uh, animation here. And if you take a look, um, you see the three rec plays the slant really well. So we all we have to do is kind of poach to the post, and we're able to cover it. So the bottom line is this can cover a lot of things that um, – that are kind of open against zone drops. And uh, so this, is, you know, again, it's not the only defense you should run, but I think that it's one of the defenses you should run. And I think it has a lot, um, it just has a lot of opportunity for, for you because, you know, the man coverage just, it gives you the best chance to like, I think it just gives you the best chance to actually get in front of routes and actually hang with stuff. Um, you know, you'll actually randomly with, with man coverage, um, you'll randomly pick wheel routes, for example. Uh, let me show you one example. So this is a wheel route to the back. So if I wheel this running back and low ball this, notice that I can throw that right there. But what I could do defensively to kind of hedge a little bit against this, and again, you can just kind of pop a zone wherever they're going to throw, right? But I could take the defensive end on the left, and I could actually throw him into a vertical hook. And what you'll see is this vertical hook. Watch how he just really does a good job on that back. See that right there? And kind of puts himself in a decent position uh, to cover that. So that's kind of what I'm getting at out of this. You know, there's a lot of little pieces at which you can adapt it. Um, you can kind of do the same thing here with, um, you know, maybe do like a, a hard flat here and a vertical hook here. And now the window to throw this wheel, um, it's just a lot less. And you see how fast the pressure can come out of this. Um, it's one of the more, I think, more important pieces to note about the nickel normal is you can get some really glitchy pressure um, out of the formation so you know you run something like this right here against a wheel to the left and then all you got to do is kind of use the wheel to the right and you see we've got guys there gonna get some knockouts gonna get some stuff going on so um, and the man coverage honestly will um, it doesn't always bag it but what you can actually do is shade the running back to the right and then spotlight him and I'll show you what happens here Again, wheel route, and now you see we don't get burned as bad, and he actually covers the wheel. So same kind of thing with the tight end. Just shade those two players inside, and it can actually help how you defend wheel routes. So anyways, uh, just wanted to kind of highlight this. This is the cover one hole, not the cover one robber. Uh, the cover one robber is very effective at a 3 5 wide. The difference is the, you don't have to move the safety down with this, and it actually kind of hangs with slants and crossers significantly better so i want to thank you for watching 
uh, today's video and if you want to learn more about this uh, I'm gonna put a link to my patreon that's where you can get all of my ebooks literally we've got I think 15 guides over there with updates and stuff like that we put out new updates every single week so if you want to get better at the game I think the patreon is a great place to start it's only ten dollars a month to join and you get access to everything so thanks for watching and if you want to join the patreon there'll be a link in the description that you can click on